Okay, who, who was recording? Yeah. On a, uh, our people was yeah, in there? Yeah, you got or? Clubhouse Unlocked was in there. He's our new me. I think he's part of the new media team, Clubhouse Unlocked, Wack. It's really showing, like, I'm really, I'm really showing the world that the streets don't run nothing no more. Nobody cares. What's up, what's up? Welcome to the Clubhouse Unlocked, the newest place to get all the hottest Clubhouse content. If it happened on the Hunter side, it has to do a work on Hunter. You can find it here. The video you are about to watch is what we experience on the daily. Good or bad, nothing is bigger than the content. And if you continue to like my videos, comment on my videos, and subscribe to my channel, I will continue to bring you the hottest content around. Let's get to the content. Man, it went up in there in the beehive. I don't know about you, but I couldn't understand a thing that was said. I'm so glad Wack 100 let Phoenix come back to get the business clear. By the way, if you see Ebony, let her know they looking for her on the Hunter side. Let's get into the content. I don't know. She was just by herself. It was just so, it was crazy. It was crazy. What happened to Sale and, and the rest of them? They, oh. I, was, I was asking the same shit too, Wack. Shit, they was on mute. <laughs> No, but I think somebody told him not to say anything and get in women's business. I do remember. Who did say not say nothing? Say always say something. It don't matter when business or not. Yeah, but somebody did tell him in the middle of all of that stuff to keep, you know, just going. Because I think it was around the time when they were arguing with Naughty and somebody was like, nah, you can't. Oh, you no, I, I do know that. Every time Phoenix wanted to speak, uh, Ebony had started over talking her, so it, it's something she's trying to hide. I ain't that slow. Mm -hmm. Let's get old Phoenix in here. So here's some, you filed for domestic violence charges to get out of a lease. So my question is, are they fake domestic violence charges? And if so, is she giving a name and putting this type of heat on a neck? Because she trying to get out of a lease? That's a good question, man. Yeah, because the only time that program works, you have to give somebody a name. And the program yeah. works have to be made. That's the only way that program is going to work. That's bad work. And she said it was multiple times. Then you know, she said it, that means she got record of it. And that's, so that's what I'm looking at. Like, are you reporting a, a, some to get out of a lease? Um, I didn't I even know you could do that till Larry. Till that. Yeah. Me? Okay, so I work for the county of Riverside. You don't have to report the person who the domestic violence is, but every six months you can use that to move. I work in that department. I'm going back for me. Oh, for real? Real? No, that that's why whack. That was a double on charge. Whack. No, he was talking about. So if a person on the lease, <laughs> if the person on a five, ten year, I mean, like a three to five year lease or whatever, however they do it, they can break that lease and move. the lady that just made that statement that was ss ss that was ss yeah she's on the phone oh yeah i think so he on the phone what up whack all right it's some going down beast what happened ss just confirmed that you can break it every six months using that same um, thing, that same excuse. What you mean? Hold up. What you talking about? What happened? With and you don't have to give somebody. She said you. 
from where she's from, you don't have to give somebody a specific name. What are you talking about? I don't know what you're talking about. You're talking about... Uh, give me a recap. I just got back in here. So, basically, um, Wax said that uh, he, he wanted to get to the bottom of, um, of the accusation of uh, Ebony saying that she got, uh, I guess, her place got stolen or abused or whatever. Um, whatever that, that statement was. I'm sorry I'm messing that up. So I was like, I didn't know that could happen. This is my first time meeting domestic him, violence, man. Domestic, the domestic violence, violence, yeah, yeah, domestic violence, school, yeah. And so SS just said you can use that excuse every six months. <laughs> no, she said the excuse was a robbery. It was a, a robbery or something. Her house getting broken into. Yeah. We ain't talking about the robbery though. Larry was on the money. Yeah, DV and the robbery, two different things, bro. We talking about the DV. You talking about that unlawful detainer? She has about thirteen of them. Yeah, wax about fifteen. Let's, let's get Phoenix so. in here. Hold on, hold on. Is that Guap back in here? Yes, sir. Uh, I'm in here. Who is that? Just say that, J man. Good looking, bro. I seen a bump in my shit after you shared my shit. I just wanted to tell you, good looking, bro. It's real. Oh. Shit, you talking about to my IG? Exactly. Oh yeah. That motherfucker a little crazy. What up, y'all? What up, Phoenix? All right, we're gonna, gonna do this real calmly, Phoenix. You already know. Hold on, let's get the rules straight first. Yeah. We we already know, Phoenix, you done that you did your thing for three hours. Nah, I did that, my so thing for longer it. than three yeah. hours because yeah, I did yeah. my thing for oh, that yeah. nigga with that nigga Nathan in the morning show this morning. You're right. You're right. You so, right, you yeah, right. it's yeah. been about you're six, right. about you're five, right. six hours. About five hours. Yeah. But, yeah. Right. But I still got my voice. No, no, you good. You good. You good. You, yeah. <laughs> Mic check, one, two, one, two. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't can only laugh, yo. I ain't gonna lie. Because... <laughs> Yeah, you gonna get everything, and I can't yeah. wait to go watch there, it too, boy. Yeah, I don't know what you're gonna hear. It, it was a lot of just you. Yo. This is yeah. Hey, I man, heard my just, niece when she said Carmela ran that, and was we crying. Definitely, hold on, everybody hold on. heard that. We definitely heard that. That was probably the okay. clearest part of the audio. Yo, so check this out, y'all. When we get this interview going, when we get to doing this, when Phoenix talk, Wack talk. Beast talk, nobody come off their mic. If you come off the mic, I don't care who you are. The rules is to blow you down. So don't come off the mic. Yeah, and the speak. business it's clear. clear audio. We are getting, this is what we are. You guys had your fun earlier. Now it's time for the content. We want to know what the f happened. We're going to get the business clear. We're waiting wax on the phone right now, but we're going to definitely, you know what I mean? Hey, yo, Phoenix, can you tell us a little bit about like, What's this unlawful detainer? Like we, we that's what we really want to know about. Like, we well, yeah, I dropped the um, addresses in the Discord. So what I was saying about the unlawful detainer, um, you know, I've never done it because I'm not a victim of domestic violence. But what I was saying is, it's a thing like where a woman is arguing with a man, and because of the whole OJ. If you go and you say it's domestic or anything like that, they will assist you with moving. They'll let you break your lease. So what Ebony does is multiple times she has broken her lease in the name of I'm a domestic violence victim. Um, she has numerous times blamed her youngest kid's father, the one that she has the twins and the four year old with. She has blamed him numerous times for um, domestic violence so that she can move. So this last time when she did it in 2022, he kidnapped the kids. We were all on the app. Ebony couldn't get her kids because the daddy had took them. It was around um, Thanksgiving 2022, Christmas 2022. She didn't have her kids. She was crying to me about she was in courthouses. She was going doing all kind of shit. Um, because she did, she was trying to get her kids back. That's when she did another domestic violence. So what I dropped in Discord, um, let me see the work that I dropped in Discord. It literally from 2004 until about um, wait a minute. Currently, she Ebony has had about 26 to 27 addresses. No lie. God damn. Yeah. And I dropped the work in the Discord. 
these, these are all like unlawful detainers like you said they're, they're all like she's just claiming that she's getting beat up just so she can move because mm-hmm. she can't afford to stay there yes thing. yes and the, and somebody else in the discord the hell's trolls kitchen discord also dropped the word let me know when they looked ebony up as soon as they looked her up it was just a whole bunch of evictions i ain't the first one that found it hell's trolls kitchen hell's trolls kitchen discord yeah and, and damn, that's a lot of that's a lot of evictions. I ain't gonna lie, that's a mm-hmm. lot. And I, we just heard from SS that you can get one every six months if you do it. So that's why she moves every six months. That's what I'm saying. I've never had to do it because I actually have a good relationship with my son's father. His father's in his life. His father pulls up. We ain't. He ain't never not had his father. So that's another thing Ebony would like to do. We'd be in the room. She'd be like, oh, um, I'm signing you up for this for the single mothers. And this, I, I have to tell her, hey, Ebony, I ain't no single mother. I'm a mother that's single. It's a difference. I'm, I'm not I don't need no single mother handouts or none of that shit. she would always try to sign me up for it why because misery love company type of shit. so yeah hey and, and what, what was this what was this the, the, why she keeps saying that uh you snaked everybody from the old side like why why where's this snake in the whole team I don't know because the team Bisha bang um uh, the original beehive people trucker was original beehive everybody that's in there that was original beehive none of them said that i snaked them i believe it was a lot of catty talk with the bitches on the honey side different females this and that it was a lot of nitpicking even when danny and i had the discourse a lot of that shit came from ebony when I came on the app and I was Lady Red Chucks and I did that room with Danny when Danny would whack, well, all that shit was coming from Ebony. But at that time, she had Danny. It was, you know, they was in they little, they was huddled up. You know what I mean? So she was able to, oh, this was said, that was said. But today she didn't have that. So she couldn't even run that false narrative like she ran the last time that I'm fake and I'm lying and I'm talking about everybody. That was when she went um, on Wax page on his IG page when the shit got dropped about Drea's daughter. It says cartoon editing whatever by Ebony. So when I leave or got put off like they like to say, uh, when I leave... <laughs> beehive um ebony goes and goes to our messages and i guess the things that she was saying about dreas you know how when you have your text thread you can just go ahead and hold down and delete whatever you know remove what you said and all that so she did that doctored it up sends the shit to dreas alleging that i was the one who did everything i for sure did it she did it as well when I went and got the content, she waited. She she stayed up with a headache for three hours, finding ugly characters and all that to put the shit on Drea's daughter. But then as soon as I left, she went and clicked up and went around and gave Drea's everything that me, her and I spoke about Drea's. But I'm a snake. Okay. What you mean about her? I'm trying to figure out her daughter. Like, what, what, what was done? What was done about, like... Okay, what was done is um, it was um, old content from Nurse Nikki alleging that Drea's daughter um, had to have her stomach pumped because she drank cum. So I went on YouTube and I found the content. Ebony went and got all the characters, um, put it together. We dropped it in the Discord. At that time, I never told anyone that I was Heaven's Devil in the Discord. We dropped it in Discord it you know it went up like it went up it went up so big that it got to whack and i hadn't even told whack that it was me i was even hiding it from him because i was trying to you know be on my so then i started getting timed out of they started putting my son with gay flags and all kind of shit on him this was in the hundred discord before i got removed or it got killed or whatever happened that's another story but this was in the hundred discord so um you know they went they was putting it about my son they were doing cartoons about us with ants on my forehead and you know they were kind of just so following like us a tip for t- it was like a tip for t- yeah t- they t- were t- following t- us so that was why the content today it was so much about your gay son your gay son your gay son because they felt that from discord when i got so mad two years ago that i was gonna have the same 
reaction but i already got over that shit from discord two years ago you know what i mean and i learned if something is not true you don't get that shit no attention you know what i mean so i just went right on over all of that extra shit. oh okay 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 that's that's a lot of shit right there, ain't hey, yeah. you got you got anything? Like I said, I'm glad we're having a conversation. We we didn't know I we you were saying a lot during that conversation today, but mm -hmm. we couldn't hear it because it was And then her eyewitness, the eyewitness that's saying that her daughter beat me up. If her if Carmela daughter beat me up, I mean you done whipped your daughter ass for sure with a belt all that since she been a daughter a kid. If your daughter could max me out and beat me up, why did you run? You heard my you heard my family get on here, right? And it specifically says she ran. Not only did she run, she had tears in her eyes when she ran. She had tears in her eyes. I stopped my whole family barbecue. What's happening? You was speaking all that shit on Clubhouse. That did a beeline to towards the house, not toward the street. In there with my grandmother, cause I'm really like that. Even in my family, I'm the one that's really like that. She did not want to see me. She don't never want to see me. And then they keep saying, I live 10 feet from her. Let me get this straight. When the first spoke up on my child, I walked over to her house with a bat. So I don't understand why Ebony keeps saying she 10 feet away and you didn't handle your shit. I go over to the house, right? The try to try to want to talk. Then she like, oh, then her daughter's got to talk. And shit. The one daughter come out, the little did take off on me oh god she did i give her that but the reason that she was able to take off on me because she wasn't my target if i would have just walked up and swung on a 22 year old that's my cousin my whole family would have been like y'all grown women why you swing on the kid you know what i mean so she did the bitch swung on me and when she swung on me i grabbed her little we locked up and i grabbed her and it got bad to where the little bitch, i grabbed her and i was in my car and i said hey bitch, you keep you keep on and I'ma run your ass over now. And I drove with that bitch on the hood of my car. Hit my brakes hard than the mother. Her little ass flew off the car. Now she would have ran under my tire. If anything would have happened, the first thing they would have been saying, Phoenix didn't have to do all that. Phoenix didn't have to do all that. You know? It's just like, and then the that they say, and then that's proof right there. If your daughter pulled me outside, beat my ass broke my leg i should be a lightweight to you at the barbecue you should have wanted to come out and handle your scandal you feel me like it be just be a lot of lies a whole bunch of lies and i'm like for what for what liking the content make sure you like the video comment on the video and subscribe to my channel now let's get back to the content sorry i'm i'm in pacoima it's a bunch of back noisy background Hello. Yep, I'm here. Hey, so Phoenix, what happened? With, you said so that was the issue with you and your cousin Carmela. Yeah, that was the issue with me and Carmela. That was in September when I fought her daughter, threw her all off the hood. Sept that was September 22. So then this year went by. My my family had a barbecue on July 8th. We have an annual Fourth of July barbecue. She didn't come to the barbecue. It started at two. She tried to walk up into my grandmother's yard at 10 o'clock and I went brazy on that. Bitch. Went all outside, bring your bitch. come on. My family was trying to hold me back. I got mad. I went and got in my car, turned the car around, turned the music up, playing the YouTube of her lying because she was in the house telling my family she didn't say nothing about me on here. She didn't say nothing. She don't talk about me. I blasted that. Shit. The whole room of her in the beehive with Ebony talking that shit about me. Her sisters, my sisters, everybody was like, Carmela, do you think that's conducive to you talking about her mother and child? And then you want to run and cry? Like, if you're going to talk about her child, you should go get out in the street and handle that. But she didn't do it. She ran. Y'all heard my niece. She went to my 98-year-old grandmother and physically cried. Cried. Yeah, yeah. I ended the whole barbecue. I had my phone on the Bluetooth. As soon as that came, it was what's happening, and she ran. Yeah, yeah, but that's what they like to talk about on the app. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm glad we kind of get the, the fake cleared, and and, and it's kind of like, damn, Ebony is the one that did did a lot of 
right here. So I'm yeah, and open. then she's saying okay. she from Pacoima. How come Mikey didn't know her? Hey, so Phoenix, so Phoenix, it's, so you and Ebony is no rela no relations, right? Ebony did karate, karate with my with my cousin. Yes, when Ebony came in the Beehive, she seen oh, see she never knew like the time when she was around. Wack was in prison. You know what I mean? It was like she was like ninety four ish around there. Wack was in prison. I when you like you know like that's my friend who I grew up with, who I gang bang with, who I drove cars for. All of that, right? So when that's your friend, you don't tend to be like, oh, I'm Wack 100's friend. Like, I never said that to them because he just regular to me. You know what I mean? That's that's Wack. So when she seen me over here with Wack, she got fanned out. Oh, buzzing. This is my big buzzing. And we in the beehive like, we don't even say buzzing. Buzz don't even talk like that. But where I was wrong is when she did it, I should have been like, hey, Ebony, you know, we ain't even all like that. You could just come in a room, whatever, whatever. But because I was on the app and I felt like I was kind of by myself. This is somebody that I know that I knew from when I was younger. So I was like, all right, we just going to do this beehive thing. You know what I mean? Then she got to when we was doing beehive content, she kept trying to get to the hunting flow. I'm like, what? Why do Ebony keep trying to bring the, the beehive content to the 100 flow? Like she trying to be 100. So then I seen the snake moves that, that she was doing. You know what I mean? Like, Charlie, I don't know why Nathan jumped in the car with them. Not um, Ebony. Naughty was in, you know, just like, you know, trying to trust Ebony. Shows Ebony to shave down the process of the teeth. Ebony was supposed to keep it and not show it to anybody. Ebony sends me the picture, other people the picture hold up, hold of on, Naughty's so, teeth shaved down. That was the so picture that was, that was on my PTR. Got, that's how you got the work. So you, that's, that's how you got all the pictures of Naughty? Is yeah. Yeah. And Ebony, Ebony. All the, all the and she went and printed the screenshots to Dreas, but she's saying I do snake. Hey Phoenix, you snap with those PTRs, but uh, I'm, I want to get down to the real shit, right? So you already know how I am. You brought that to the table as far as her getting these evictions. And shit. You already know what I'm gonna ask next. You know I want to see the black and white game. It's in the Discord. In the game. Discord. Uh, I already wow. said that. Hey, can we put that link up? Because I know everybody want to see. Yep. Let me get the link. I think they put it in the chat, uh, Phoenix. I seen it in the chat. They were dropping it. Yeah, I had dropped it earlier with yeah, with, uh, with the work. Yeah. It, 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 they didn't drop no receipts. It was all allegedly. It was all I got it, but you didn't bring it. And let me ask a quick question to SS real quick. Are you saying you were the one that spoke earlier, SS? You said that you're able to get an eviction every six months if you use that domestic violence uh, line. Is that correct, SS? So in my county, right, I work in our county. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, that's okay. correct. IE, yep. So in our, yes, in the IE. So in the IE, if you file for domestic violence through the county, you can be in a new place every six months yes okay that's it. and they do not require who the person is because it's a, a violation of HIPAA for us we cannot ask you who we can't ask for a police report okay well shit well you heard from SS and that yeah OJ set the temple for that that's that OJ hey Guap are you looking at those in the discord Guap hell no I can't even get in that been kicked out that. Been kicked out that. <laughs> Yo, can we uh can we put one of our telegrams up, hundred side telegrams up, so we so they can get dropped in there? Hey, hey Phoenix, can you drop it in one of our telegrams if we put a telegram up? I don't have telegram. I only uh, have Discord. Uh, hold up, somebody that can go into Discord and grab them out for us. Can somebody grab them out for us. Team, do we got anybody that's in the Discord right now looking at them and can grab them out for us? I'm in the Discord. I'm just trying to okay. find Okay, we got we got Larry Lamar in the Discord right now. Uh, Phoenix, he's gonna grab him out for us. We're gonna get him uh, so we can check him out. And like I said, we ain't calling you a liar, but you know you know how it goes. And God damn, every six months she's moving. That's every six months, and I have a niece beast. Yes, <laughs> I've moved her three times already, and I've only been in the county for a year and a half. Fucking poop. Oh. Yes, I've oh, moved her three times already with that same program. Okay. Damn. Hey, what time did y'all put that in so, there? 
Phoenix, what, let's see Phoenix, you there? What time did you put that in there? Was it early in the morning, the earlier uh, room? Nah, it was in that beehive room. The beehive right? room, so that was at uh, a two to, around two, two to o'clock. Five. Two to five, yeah. Around 3.30, because it was while we was in the room. Okay. Hey, Larry, when you get them, put them in the telegram up top. No, I got you. I got the, the teeth, was it before? So, and like I said, is anybody else from the Beehive that was here before? We're going to say bang, Beehive, Beehive, bang. You in here right now? Just want to see if he, because uh, like they keep saying he was snaked and he got his address dropped. And uh, how, how was, how was this? If he's still, let me paint you, him and see. You get what I'm saying? If he's still with you, how was he claiming that, that, that you snaked him? Like, you get what I'm saying? Because I know if somebody snaked me, I ain't with him. He got me up. Oh, it won't let. It says I don't have permission to invite the user. I don't know what that's about. Oh, I just I seen him in the goo earlier. I don't know what happened to him. But... Hold on, let me. Yeah, if you could send him the link and see what's up. And I, I, like I said, everybody that you had brought, like you brought Bisha in here, we understand, and she was a part of original Beehive. And if she was snaked, she would step up and say she was snaked, and she wouldn't be with you. You get right. what I'm saying? And be sure, you know, like, I move a real, real motherfucker. They wasn't about to sit in here and yell. They was mad at me for staying in here, but I'm going to always put my back against the wall. Because hey, I won't stop being a blood. Hey, Yo. You can pay again, whoever you need. What up, Wack? Hold up. What up, Wack? Yeah, no, nah, bro. She kept deflecting. You already? kept saying some but she kept talking over it. Cause my thing is, I'm hearing this eviction getting filed for domestic. But don't you gotta give him a mother name? Was she just lying on the mother? Hey, SS just explained that you don't have to give a name. All you don't. All you have to do is be a victim. You don't. It don't even. You don't have to because a lot of women are victims and yeah, you know they mean. recant their stories or they come you know what i mean so they or don't the even ask that for them why do people come looking for them rap they can't story shit long time ago here's they bound your ass over you know that wait what'd you say they killed that recanting your story shit long time ago here's they bound and your the ass da over. picks it up all day yeah long. that's a fact so that's the old school game you give a statement now, we don't give a fuck if you don't show up. Whatever you told in that police report is going to be read on that same. But earlier, I know he was saying some and even against Carmella, but motherfuckers couldn't hear you. So all that niggas got to get there. Okay, now let me tell y'all about Carmela. Carmela is also a domestic violence victim, and you know we lived in the same condos. The drop her, drop her. Don't don't bring her up. Bring her up. One at a time. One at a time. We gonna do this to one at a time. The T. Rue used to be beating her. It's been like six different times I pulled into my gate and sent eight or nine sheriffs at Carmela house because it's and they're beating her ass. One time her and her kids, her son, the daughters I fought, they came run into my house like some runaway slaves. Like, you know what I mean? I'm like, well, what's up? I don't have problems and drama at my house. You know what I mean? Like, what what we supposed to do? I'm supposed to fight this and you gonna go and be back with them tomorrow? So me and her got into it because I wasn't with that back and forth. Carmela calls 911. Carmela has um, been in court with her baby daddy Carmela is on the county and she don't have to go do gain or nothing also when they're domestic violence victims they get to be on welfare they don't have to participate in no welfare activities or nothing just sit at home and get the money Carmela still live with the who she claiming is the domestic violence victim against her and the reason she's still living with him is because like what SS says she didn't have to give no name or nothing so she could still live with the nigga. And they come right in the county. She don't have a car. They do all the Yeah, she, she don't have a car. Haven't had a car for two years. She is on drugs, like pills and shit like that. When you see her, she don't even have a healthy look about herself. She looks 
hoe up. You get what I'm saying? I have a clean look about me. You can tell I'm a mother. You know what I mean? She don't even look like that. The n- also will fuck up all her furniture, pull all the mother TVs off the wall. Didn't even have no furniture. Like it's crazy. And she want to come for me. How you talking about? I got a car repo when you don't even have a car. Like, I don't get this. So, yeah, she a domestic cop, yeah, domestic car, violence. What car they saying you had repo? They saying I had a new Honda that got repo. So that like, Carmela don't see the one that got towed up. Yes. And I now have a SUV. Yeah. That. Yeah. But I like you said, when it ain't something that ain't true, I'm not about to get that no attention. Because it's not true. I didn't even, you know, I'm not about to go PTR in my car or I'm not about to be doing none of that to prove something to a bunch of nobodies. Yeah, whack. I just asked her too about the, the pictures, how she how she got pictures of Naughty, all the and where were they coming from? And I guess they're coming from who who were they coming from, Phoenix? All that you got all that. Oh, shit, from all Ebony and everything like that. Know it. Whack check Ebony. It's a YouTube of whack checking Ebony. Tell him of Hey, you could trust Phoenix. Don't trust Ebony. Naughty tried to, you know, confide in Ebony and show the procedure of the teeth. Whack went and explained all of this in a room. Got on Ebony head about being a snake to Naughty. Yeah. I got the work. And then another, it's another thing that I wanted to clear up too. <laughs> Who started all this queen stuff? When, when did all this queen stuff start? I ain't never wanted to be a queen. I'm a gang member. I don't even like what get in my inbox with the hate queen. I'll be like, mm, you weak ass. I'm a gang member. So I don't understand where did all that queen come. You get what I'm saying? That is another way of Ebony trying to take the throne. All that came from Ebony. It's fake. Then, oh, she also said she was here in Beehive in the beginning. She never was in Beehive in the beginning. She didn't come till we was already in there for months. Like, we was close to already, like, at a thousand, like, our before we went and did our 2K party on the honey floor for Beehive. Ebony wasn't around. She wasn't with us when we were shooting in the gym or none of that. So, I, I didn't get that part either. And and I'm gonna just keep it real. Whatever you know, how can I say this? However, you know, me and R&B may not be seeing eye to eye, but one thing that I can say is that when I think of a queen, when I think of a queen anywhere on this app, I feel like R&B is the queen of everybody's room because she the queen on the honey side. That's and by right. Ebony bringing up that queen. She did that shit so that she could slight R and B. That that's what that shit is 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 for, and that's and I'm standing on that. That trying to go for y'all main queen. <laughs> we only got one queen on this kind of side, and that's R and B. That's a fact. Rue, that's a fact. Out, handing out that's titles. a fact. Rue, you, I told you, Rue, though that title you handed out, yeah, but we ain't gonna deal with that. Yes, we ain't gonna deal with that right now. We'll deal with that later. And then my other point that I made was I saw where Danny removed Ebony from the morning chat for not showing up. Then it was court. Ebony didn't show up. It was court on her before when she got off the app and started putting slick shit on IG and all the shit that she was doing. Right. So I'm just like, I, I, I'm just not understanding where this is going. You know what I mean? I, I just... I don't get her the lies and I just don't get it. Yeah. Yo, Guap, you checked those out too already, Guap? Those, those receipts? Guap, you there? Yeah, I'm here. All right, did you check those receipts out? No, Larry, did you put them in there yet? Larry. Let me see. Right here. Yeah, they in there. Alright. It's it's a bit it's a video of 
Yeah, remember I told you she yeah. moved so much I couldn't do a screenshot. I had to do a screen recording of all this hoes addresses because she moves that much. Nobody else who I looked up and got the work on. Most people, it's just a screenshot, them, possible relatives, you know, one or two addresses. This had me on a whole screen recording for a minute and 23 seconds because she moved every six Damn. months. But no, yeah. she be doing good. I ain't gonna, I, from what I, she tells us, she's. she's oh, yeah, her net worth. Yeah, her net worth. She ain't got a net or a worth. Yeah. <sighs> She always talking about her net worth and it's millions. I ain't never seen her move. I ain't never seen a millionaire need to live at my grandmother's house or my cousin's house. I ain't never seen Wack have to live nowhere. But she a millionaire. Okay. No, she said eight million today. Mm-hmm. Oh, and then this is another thing. Like I said, everybody's Ebony says she has this, um, what's the word she uses? Loot, uh, lucrative. She has this lucrative kicking business, right? Nobody, none of these ask they self, why is it that same white man kicking her? And every time, I mean, that she's kicking and every time she kicking him, she's in a motel. How that bitch was saying I was at the Snooty Fox. She be in motels. Look at her, look at her videos. They're in motels with two little seats where she go and meet up with this one white man. It's a prostitute. It's a 304. It's a trick. <laughs> that be on the on all the videos with the same white man. If you got this lucrative kick business, you ain't got no other actors or nobody else that could do some infomercials for your punk ass. Just the same man, the same trick. I'm confused. There's a lot of shit I don't understand. How is your shit, how is your shit lucrative, but it's only one man that you kick in motels all day? That's all you do is kick them. You ain't and sucking them. That's prostitution, bro. Goddamn. Hey, yo, we heard a lot right here. And, and Wag, I think, I think we definitely need to get ebony in here to see see what's going on we let phoenix speak and we we definitely need to see if ebony want to speak hey guap you get when we get into business clear today phoenix we ain't gonna do no more yelling we don't yeah. with the yelling yeah, yeah. yeah. we don't uh, you, you know done. we done with the yelling you know what i mean and, and we, we didn't hear we got three hours of non you get what i'm saying so you did it all day so i feel oh like you blue face <laughs> Hate performing for y'all. <laughs> so I'm listening. You don't know. Do your thing. Do your thing. Uh, hey, yo, uh, Pinga, was that Ebony who came on stage earlier, Quap? Somebody came. When they come, I'll uh, I'll yeah. drop myself. Don't shoot me. I right. drop myself. <laughs> All right, do your thing. Do your thing. Hey, yo, uh, let's get up in here, Ebony. Hey, yo, Quap, we need a ping in Ebony. Send Ebony the link, somebody. All right. Hey, yo, Rue, call Ebony. She said we didn't call her for court last time. So somebody call Ebony. You guys got her number. We know we got you guys got her number. Let's get Ebony. That was another thing. How is she coming for the beehive and she still got a bench warrant from when she didn't show up to court for y'all? Don't she got to clear her bench warrant? Don't you got to clear all y'all warrants before you come for something? Yeah. This got a hundred thousand on her head. She ran from two courts. Fifty thousand and fifty thousand. You ain't, you ain't. That's some truth right That's there. A That's a fact. That's a fact. So these was all Ebony's homes that she stayed all in? All the hotel. Her, her uh, that's all the homes and she moved. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Every six months. Hey, yo, yeah. Bye. Look up somebody else's work. It is not that long. You, Nobody moves that much. As a matter of fact, I ain't even going to say she moved. The don't even put pictures on the wall because she knows she ain't staying. <laughs> Don't even move in because she moving right out. Yo, this shit, I'm looking at this. That's a lot of spots, huh, Guap? Yeah, it's going so fast. I gotta try. What's up, Nisha? Up. Shout out, Nisha <laughs> Kim. I'll see you in the chat, boo. Nisha Kim, what's good, Nisha Kim? We bring you up if she's up down there. We bring Nisha Kim up. We ain't tripping. Yeah. 
Yeah. We just get in the business clear new, so you already know. Hey! Let's do it. Come on, let's do it, Miles. If you were back, fuck it up. Hey! Big bitch takes the toes like what? Hey! It's time to have some fun. Hey! Don't do no running. Don't do no running like Ebony for court. Hey, hey, rule. hey rule. Shout out to Phoenix for standing Yo, what up, what up. Oh, rule. Shout day. out Phoenix man Since 8 yeah. o'clock this morning gang yeah. Let's go hey, hey, hey Phoenix what You You know what Rue's been trying to hold it down since you left you know what I mean? hey, And that's another yeah. thing she need to get DP for She tried to run up on Rue I had to back yeah, that yeah, Off yeah, of yeah. a real blood <laughs> You thought That shit crazy she be in a room with this nigga all day. I ain't talked to this you know all year. What it is, you already know. It's foul. I wasn't gonna let her get up on you. That's what real homegirls do. Real blood shit, gang. You already know. Talk your shit, sis. <laughs> Shout out, gas. That's my brother. That's the one responsible for getting me in all the rooms. I'ma just say it. I'ma uh, just put it out there. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Oh. Yo, so hey, yo, I ain't gonna lie though. If anybody, as far as team, you guys, I need twenty five hundred cash app, or your wife gonna baby. find out in Phoenix. That's, That's a fact. We already know. <laughs> I know his wife. His wife, my sister. <laughs> Crazy whack. I didn't know that all this shit about Ebony. She was doing this. Oh, I, I didn't either. I just kept hearing Phoenix saying some. But she, she kept stepping on her. So, you know, when people do that, it's for it's Deflecting. We know that's deflecting. I would get bits and pieces, but I couldn't hear it. Like, and another thing, Naughty um, knows. Nah, I want Naughty to come in here. So somebody send the link to Naughty because I don't think Naughty would have somebody's back that sent out all them up pictures of them like that. I ain't gonna lie. I told him even when they opened up Naughty and the surgery was unsuccessful because it was too much muscle in the back and they had to sew this up and this was in pain. Ebony called me like Naughty in so much pain. I said, what happened? She was like, you know how they go to do the fat on your arms? They went to go jam that shit in the nigga arms and they was jamming it and no fat was coming out. They're like, what the fuck? This was too strong to get lipo. And they sold this back up. Ebony told me that. Nice. It was an unsuccessful surgery in the DR. Mm. Say it ain't so. Then she sent me to shave down teeth. And it was kind of because it was like that was the process. I wouldn't have never shared that with somebody that I quit the process of their teeth looking the prior to them putting the veneers you know she like shared that like look ugh, i'm never gonna get this ugh, i'm gonna get braces just talking about nathan like a month i ain't gonna lie nathan landed all day <laughs> landed hey yo uh so we where need you at uh, ebony is uh, not in here whack where we at that shit he should be able to get his people it's just that weight on him shit about to call and it, when uh, she come, I drop myself to the goo. Don't shoot me. Hey, yo, Rue, what didn't I just tell you to do it? And you said, oh, you didn't say nothing when I said, but it took whack to tell you to do it when we trying to get her in here. <laughs> oh, that's kind of crazy. Beast, you ain't whack. You ain't whack, I know, Beast. I know, but still, I'm like, get him in here. I said, get him in. Get her. We need to get her in here. We trying to get the business. He sat there on mute. She's going to voicemail now. This shit, this she shit. unavailable. <laughs>